Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini Intruder, and welcome to Cube 2. I played the original Cube, or rather Cube Director's Cut, on the channel some time ago. It was a competent, well put together puzzle game. The only things really letting it down were perhaps it was a little bit lacking in polish and not particularly ambitious. In case you don't remember, it was mainly a case of going from puzzle room to puzzle room where you were pretty much solving puzzles involving the movement of blocks and mixing and utilising colours. And then I heard it was getting a sequel, Cube 2, so I looked up the trailer on Steam and my immediate thought was, that looks pretty much like the first game, except a bit more polished and a bit more ambitious. So well bloody done for self-awareness, I'm looking forward to this. Prologue! Worlds apart! As stuff explodes and people are really scared of things. I'm gonna be honest, Robbie, I've got bigger things to worry about at the minute. Mayday. This is Commander Emma Sutcliffe of the Vitruvius mission. I am stranded in an unknown location following mission success. Are there any survivors out there? Hello? This is Dr. Amelia Cross. I, I'm, I'm picking up your signal. I repeat, I am reading you clearly. Please, I, I, I don't know what's happened, but I need help. Try and remain calm. Your systems are slightly damaged. I can't identify what your rank was, either. Looks like you're suffering from cryogenic-induced amnesia. What? W what are you talking about? You must have been part of Vitruvius, tasked with destroying the cube. Damn. The escape pods must have brought us both back to the Origin planet. That life suit you're wearing, you can manipulate the cubic structures with it. We used the same design to destroy an extraterrestrial object that was on a collision course with Earth. You may not remember, but if you listen to me and do as I say, we may actually make it back home. Do you understand me? I... I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Just tell me what I need to do. Okay. I've detected a human distress beacon coming from the peak of the structure you're in. Your signal is weak because of this blasted sandstorm. I can't lock onto you. That beacon is above the storm. If you can just make it there, you should be clear. If you rendezvous with any other survivors, I should be able to use my teleporter to extract us all and get home. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. Okay, so we're a direct sequel to the first game, which, yeah, basically the narrative gimmick of it, though it wasn't really a big part of the game, was you were on an alien spaceship, or rather, you were told you were on an alien spaceship, and you needed to solve puzzles to basically get through it to blow it up before it smashed into the world. Feels like we're actually dealing with a direct sequel, but the first game, pretty much every room you were in was just a white padded cell. It was very, uh, very visually purely functional. Whereas this appears to be, yeah... Going for something a little bit more on the fancy side. Very, very nice indeed. And also, it's nice that all the characters appear to be British. That's always bloody welcome. The other big narrative thing about the first game was you really didn't want to trust the voice in your ear. It seemed kind of completely unreliable and you weren't sure whether they were telling you the truth or not. So, that might well be a recurring theme as well. Don't you trust Emily Sutcliffe? Not just yet, anyway. Use the gloves you are wearing to change the structure around you. You should have access to the launch pad function, co-coloured blue. Try placing one on any white cubes that have a frame using your left glove, then stand on it. Okay, so, place a panel. That then becomes blue. Okay, so I've got one blue panel I can lay. Then if I just go, oh! Jesus! Right! I wasn't expecting that. You better get used to it. Well, she did say launch pad, Amelia. Listen, I'm losing signal because of the storm. Keep climbing upwards. Contact me if you find anything strange. Yeah, signals regularly cutting out was a regular thing too. So let's just check if the rules are still the same here. Blue, blue, yeah, just one blue. So blue, launch pad, throw myself up. Beautiful. So, you know, you might immediately see some vaguely portalish type things going on here. Like, for example, if I put it on a diagonal thing, I assume I can... Throw myself over here. Lovely. Very bloody convenient. I can also just clamber up some small rocks. Protagonists in this game are generally not very good at climbing, by the way. You need to basically blast yourself everywhere with coloured blocks. And kabloom. Lovely. But now we've got ourselves a red thing. Hello, red thing. So, yeah, any block that's, like, highlighted, I can actually interact with in some way. Can I make you blue? No, I can't. Fine. So, red means I can just pull it out, create more platforms. Nice and simple introduction to things here. 
Let's also just turn that. Actually, let's use that to get up here. Then let's pull you out as the second tier to get up there. Pull you out, jump on top as it's actually coming out. And there we go, using the blocks in order to create a staircase. Nice and simple so far. Just like the first game, it starts simple. Then it'll start melting your brain in about 10 minutes, probably. Uh, again, let's just quickly mix together everything we've learned so far. So a blue thing and then a red thing. So if I use the red thing to get up onto the blue thing, I imagine I will be thrown up onto, yep, that thing. Check if I need to go any higher. Nope, that should be fine. Jump over here. Get automatically flipped round. Emma, I've... Uh-oh. I found something. It's also blatantly evil. Still no signal. Okay. And what does the hell machine want? Hello? Press R I wouldn't interact with it, to be honest. But all right, let's do it. And... Oh, am I going to stick my hand inside the hell machine? Oh, that's an even worse idea. Ah, but now I've got different things. Code colored red enabled. Recommended action. Place red cube on white panel. What the? Why would these be here? Because it's a puzzle game, Millie, keep up. Right, so now I can basically make things either red or blue. Marvellous. So now I've got a choice. I can change between the two. So obviously on this occasion, however, I'm going to be wanting to make that blue. And bliddly blee. Marvellous. So back to red, interact, jumpy jump, and now we've started getting into puzzles where we need to figure out what the right thing to do. So same puzzle we saw before, except uh, this time we actually need to do all of the setup ourselves. So this should be about right. Onto there, up onto... Okay, that didn't get me. Oh, but it got me onto here. Fine, so I was just using that as a thing to fling myself into. Marvellous. Now, change it. Yes, game, I'm one step ahead of you here. I know what's going on, all right? You can put the tutorial away at this point. So, that there was just the tutorial. Chapter 2, The Ropes, which I assume I have to learn. So, okay. You're saying go up. Can I interact with... Aha! Yes, I can. So, presumably only if I'm blue, though, right? Can I interact if I'm red? Okay, anything can interact with that. That's just a button. It doesn't matter about colour. Fine, keep on going on. Next up, nothing too complicated here. Pull that out. Lay a thing. Get on top of thing. Pull myself over here using that. Let's just start mixing everything I'm learning together. All right, time to start figuring out how we mix all this together, because now we can start moving the walls around if that's what we want to do. Uh, so probably... Okay, let's just start off by going over to here. Hang on, can I even make it... I can't make it up to there just yet, so I need to move over here. In order to get, no, you to be red, pull you out, blue, and now I'm going to guess this is going to be this platform. Okay, that didn't get me quite far enough. That's interesting. Ah, wait, hang on. Jumpity jump, uppity up, that will give me the extra height I need to get over to here. Then push button, bring myself over to here. And then same trick in reverse. Pull the lift down. Make that red. Pull that out. Over to blue. Fling self on there. Use button to raise and leave room. Okay. I'm still on top of this. We haven't quite got to the part where my brain melts yet. Chapter 3. House of Leaves. And aha. New colour. What does this do? So green is a block spawner. Spawns precisely one block before it decides it can't be bothered anymore. Okay, so I'm going to guess that what you want me to do is interact with that and throw it over there. Yep, and that provides a step up. Okay, so now we've got three things to actually play with, and I'm assuming I might just need to go and find the green hell machine. Uh, hang on, what do you want me to do? Presumably, pull that out... And then interact with that. And then, aha. Then if I just push it away, that will fall down here and provide a step. Lovely. Right, I probably need to go and find the green hell machine so I can start spawning my own green blocks. 
Okay, new room. We got ourselves. Obviously, that one's going to be blue. That's fine. So I need to fling myself over there. But why do... Hmm. What are you for? And can I interact with you in any way? No. Okay, well, let's just do the basic stuff first here. The stuff that seems obvious. So if I just make all of you... No, I can only make one of you. Okay. Line this up with... Hang on, are you lined up with... This one's lined up with... It, it'll be the middle one. Yeah, it'll be the middle one. Fine. Pull that out. Let's just see how this does. So jump over here. That gets me up to here. Fine. What stops me just pushing this here button and then jumping up to the top? Is that too... Hi okay, that's too high. So that doesn't work. So in which case... Oh, hang on. Hang, hang, hang on. Now that's moved over there... Uh, no, I need to... Okay, uh, I need to, yeah, get that one up by making that red. Pull that back over here. And now that needs to... Okay, but if I were to now do that sticky outy... But then if I do this, that means that ceases to be there. So obviously that one needs to be raised up. Hmm. Okay, how do I get the green on top of the... Ooh. Unless it's not like that. What if I now change that to be blue? Aha! That's exactly what I need to do. And now um, that needs to be red and sticky out. And that's... Ooh! Just. Okay! And now that can't be blue anymore. It doesn't need to be. Now I get over here, now I've got a thing, now I push button, okay. So we've already got to the stage where things start getting a bit more on the interesting side. <laughs> Marvellous. You know what? I'm slightly perturbed by the fact the next room has a target symbol. Target symbol. Okay. Uh, do you want me to hit that with a red? No, that doesn't work. Uh, okay, what if I now just interact that? That doesn't help me either. Okay. Targets. What you... Ah! I see exactly what you want me to do. You want me to... Spawn and then at the right moment... Hit that, don't you? Yeah, you want me to actually hit that so it hits the target, presumably. I guess so, anyway. And... The problem is it falls too fast. In fact, I've literally just gone over to mouse and keyboard to see if I can make this work, and no, I'm not sure it actually is going to work like that. That's a little bit too... No. No, 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 that's not going to fly. Okay, but what if that was blue? Was that... Yeah. Okay, it's not red. It's blue. Gotcha. So what I actually need to do is, presumably now, fling a thing over to... Okay, that's going to fling that over there. That's going to make that... Ooh. Okay. I think I see what you need me to do. Pull that out. Make this uh, blue. Now summon that. That gets thrown over there and gets caught. Move that along. And now, if I make that... If I make that fall, that's not going to help very much. No. How does that help at all? I don't see how that helps. Is there another... Ah! No, now I've got that over there. What I now do is I make this the new blue. Spawn a green. That opens that door for me. But now I've got... No, I've done this in the wrong order. I've done this in totally the wrong order. Because what I need to do now is get that second green back over here. So hang on. Uh, blue there... You go back over here. You go back over there. Green now gets spawned now the door's already opened. Green comes down over... That was a mess. Green comes down over here. This comes over here. Now I bring this over here. A blue comes down over here. Where are you going to stop? Is it this spot right? About here-ish. Now I throw myself on top of here. Get myself moving as well. And with the green as a step, I get up top. All right, cool. I got this. We're fine. My brain is not fried. And as I put my hands away, something's a bit different here. 
We've got ourselves a tree. I'm reading you. Are you all right? I've come across an exterior space. The storm has cleared up and, well, there's life here. There's water and plants. That's unexpected. This doesn't look accidental either. The structure of the space, the organization of it, it looks purposeful. It reminds me of my husband. <laughs> In what way? Oh, he, um, he works with plants. You should move on, Millie, before another storm comes. Agreed. Speak soon. Okay. So there's some form of potentially tragic backstory, or this place is being built out of my own brain or something. Chapter 4! Lost in Transmission! Aha! It's the green hell box, so now presumably I can make my own single block wherever I'd like, I would guess. So, stick your hand in the hell block, and let's see if I'm right here. So, got a green power. What do you want me to do? And that just, ah, that just lets me turn any white panel into a spawner. Fine. So, fairly simple introduction to things here, I would guess. Let's create a blue and then drop ourselves one green over there. Hang on. Nope, that wasn't right at all. And then I also need the red ready to receive the green. So, let's just respawn that. And then I can just follow it. And that should have formed a nice staircase for me. Yes, indeed it has. Right, now this seems nice and simple, all things considered. In fact, actually, I don't necessarily think we even need the green block for this. Because I can just basically... Ah, no. Because there can only be one at a time. Fine. Uh, in which case, let's just create ourselves a staircase. Now, can I get up to... Uh, probably I can. Hang on, is this good enough to... Not quite. Not flipping quite. Okay, um... Wait, whoa, wait, if I was to, at this point, yeah, now change this into a red, okay, so what I can do now is, hang on, no, I want, I want this to be the red, but that makes the green cease to, okay, 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 okay. no, use that there. Okay, now bring this out. Okay, so now I'm on top here. But now this one's permanently here. I can now spawn this one here. And aha! That was a little bit more complex than I thought it was going to be. But I figured it out just. Millie, I've been monitoring your position. Your suit readings show that you've gained quite a bit of altitude. Does that mean I'm nearly at the top? Not quite. These structures, all paths should lead to a central core. If you get there, we can figure out the best way to get you to the peak. How do you know all of this? We trained for a long time, Millie. So what do you think these structures are? Well, we know they have internal machinations and seem to perform tasks with no need for external input. A cybernetic system of sorts, reacting and adapting. The gloves were built to change that, or at least divert its functions temporarily. But what's their purpose? All I know is that we had to stop that vessel from colliding with Earth. The structure you're in? God knows what they're used for. Anyway, let's focus on finding that beacon as soon as possible. Okay, don't trust Emma Sutcliffe. She's totally gonna turn out to be evil. Okay, so, 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 if I had to guess, our starting point here is going to be, for some reason, I want a green block on top of here, then I could get to... No, if I could get it higher, I could probably get it higher, but what's the purpose of... Okay, what have we got here? Because, like, the best thing I could think to do here would be get the green block as high as possible, and... Okay, I might actually be, yeah, the solution I came up with earlier might work here. If I just nudge this at the right time. Okay, I think I got my timings not quite right there. But even if I had got the timings right, what would be the point of what I've just done? Like, that doesn't actually help me in the slightest. What's the benefit here? Hmm... Because just nudging a green block over the... Ah, no. No, 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 no. I was right. It's just it was not red at the top. It's blue again. Okay. So get that over there. But this needs to become blue at the right moment. So like that. And there we go. 
Nice, and now I've got my staircase, and it's the red is just catching over here. Red is not used for nudging, red is just used for catching. Okay, I gotcha, we're fine. Right, and then just some blue. Let's just get my way up and out of here, lovely. Now press X to delete cubes, so if I create extra cubes, I can get rid of them. Okay, what's the benefit of that? Also, this seems pretty simple. So let's just create ourselves a blue there, and then a green up to... Ah, not so simple, because that's in... Hmm, that's in the wrong place. Because if I just create a green here, yeah, it's at the back. So I can get rid of that, and I can get rid of that, and I can get rid of that. Okay, how am I going to make this fall in a way that actually blasts out. Ah, wait! I see there's another one up there. Okay, so, red to catch, green to drop, then to move, then to blue, and that's over this side. Okay, and then push that up. That was completely wrong. I needed to delete the block, not the they just taught you about deleting, John. You're going to need to delete during the delete tutorial. Because now I can just delete the orange laddie. And that solves the problem. Good. Now, a bit of difficulty up here. I literally can't jump to... Ah, but... If I created one block here, that can be a stepping stone up to here. That's going to launch me over there. So as a result, yeah, I'm going to need you to catch me. Is that going to work? Indeed it does. Pull myself along here. And life should be just marvellous. Should we make, make this jump? Yep. Job done. Oh. Now I'm going up to something else. It would appear to be Atlas or something similar. Except Atlas carrying a cube. This is interesting. I'm not sure I want to interact with this, but okay. Please take me. Take me. My heart beats but i want it to beat for you i want to become one she said we would become one don't leave me on my own not without her emma what what is it i i think it's human or or was now i don't know what it is a statue and it was saying something no not saying a radio transmission of sorts i don't know this is messed up Whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible, okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. Don't trust Emma! Let's just keep going, okay? No, let's not, you're blatantly probably evil! Chapter 5, I assume, no title appears! And now, there's a mysterious hold drop down. And... Where does this bring me? Ooh. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. Okay. Are you also going to be creepy at me? Hmm. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. What was that? I... I have no idea. But whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on, and it's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be careful, Millie. Okay. I think I might possibly have missed something there. Possibly something happened in the main room I didn't see because I was already going over to investigate the doors. Let's go and figure out what the machine does then. There we go! Chapter 5! Tangled! And oh... Is that a vaguely yellowy colour implying there's going to be a fourth type of block? Emma, can you read me? I can. The signals are a lot better now. Good. 
I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door and see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. Alright, so... It said one of the doors was open. Doesn't look like it to me. The highest one certainly isn't open. In fact, none of these look open. Emma, are you 100% sure about this? Ah, there's one over there. And there's, fortunately, no fall damage. Probably should have checked that before I fling myself off a cliff. Right. Move over here. Let's see what we got. And we've got another outside section here. Okay. I'm going to guess this is... Block goes on. Yep. Fine. So, the yellow things are block weighing puzzles. Nice and simple. Gotcha. Go through here. Presumably I can also weigh myself, but... If I step off... No, actually, it seems to be fine. Good. So, yellow ones need to be consistently weighed down. Blue ones just need to step on once, I think. Okay. We got two yellow things in this room. You are in place. Something actually does... Well, something appears to move. What does this do? That moves that, but if I step off, does it go... Yeah, it goes back. Okay. So. So, 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 so. If I was to be on here, and then I was to push a green out of here, that's both switches powered. That moves this, and then, ah. The moment I step off this... That's going to cause that to... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Because if I step off here... Is this now going to... If I'm just as quick as I can? No. Actually. That was fine. As long as both are switched. No, it's not both. It's one's connected to one, one's connected to the other. Cancel this. And this platform moves back over here. Marvellous. Okay. So, yellow switches don't need to be pushed together. They just control different things. Fine. Keep an eye on the wiring. And now we're getting into some interesting stuff. Okay. So, over there... Sooner or later, I'm going to need to... Presumably... How am I going to get over there? Because I presumably can't climb up there, even if I'm on the wire. No. Something at some point needs to stand on there... None of you can actually move. Anything else up top in the room? No. Okay. So, in theory, what I probably want is... If I was to have this come out here... That powers up. Aha! Steps. Fine. So then I can get over here, stand on this. That causes steps over there that I think should be... Yeah, blue switches are permanent. The yellow, meanwhile, what's that going to control? That's going to control this over here. Now that controlled... Ah! I don't need this anymore. That can now go away. Except... How am I going to... Ah! I know exactly how I'm going to do this. Uh, blue and green will... No, not quite apparently. Okay. But, 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 if there was something to catch it... There we go. And that is both of them pressed because I don't need the first yellow switch. Lovely. <laughs> okay. My brain's keeping up so far. Everything's fine. I've not seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. You've not seen a fan before, Amelia. Are you 100% sure about that? Because it does appear to just be a cocking fan. Right, so if I just step into it... Can I, if I jump at the right time? No. It provides a small boost, and I presume it lets a block hover. But other than that, okay. Can I do anything down there? No, can't interact with that at all. So in which case, uh, does this let me see anything? Hang the flip on. I may have seen fans before, but oh. Well, there's a much easier way to do this, which is just use the blue round this side. Marvellous. Yeah, now, if I just jump here, will I... No, that doesn't provide a bit of extra floatiness. 
Gotcha. Need to come up with something a bit better than that. Okay, I found the solution, but I have real doubts as to whether this is how real physics works. So if I just step into that hole, the fan at the bottom basically just gently pushes me out. If I jump down, then it pushes me out more aggressively, so I gain more height. Now, that, that seems wrong to me. That does not seem like physics. Now next up, I've got four of these horizontal in a row, and a big gap to cross. Okay. What exactly am I supposed to be doing here then? Because sure I can- Oh, hang on. No, this is probably very simple. It's probably just a case of having even more height, falling down here, even further, and then being thrown over- I mean, I guess in theory that kind of makes sense, but that would assume, like, literally no energy were lost if I was to be able to- Okay, maybe it's just magic. Maybe it's just magic and that's fine. Now, this button brings a platform over, but the platform- Okay, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say, I jump off here, the platform starts moving back, and this red block protects me from the wind? Yes, the red block can indeed block. That's one of its primary jobs these days. Beautiful. Okay, now we're getting in some stuff. So, we got ourselves a boosty platform. Okay, let's just check what this thing does. I'm gonna guess that, yeah, that brings this forward forward to a position it needs to be. There's more... Where would that blast that? How would that... Okay. Let's say for the sake of argument, I assume that normal rules apply. So what I probably want to do here is put a blue there, green there. Now does that end up on top of the... It would have done if I'd put this in the right spot. Yes. So activate that. And... No, that is... Ah! Okay. That has done not what I was planning for it to do, but it has worked, because now there's a green block blocking this. So now this holds still here. Let's just see what this does at this point. Aha. Fine. Uh, move the blue to here. That should get me on top of the orange. Okay, lovely. So up here. Now what do these do? This one brings this over to here. Does that help me? Not a huge amount, fine. And then it goes back over there afterwards. This, presumably, yeah, raises up this platform. Hmm. So I can see how I'd want... Ah, but... This is not in the right position to drop a block on that either. So... What I need to do is... Okay, this is just a case of timing. This needs to be made green... And then I bring this over here. All I need to do is get this over here, walk over onto that platform, then at the right moment, hit the thing. So now, wait, 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 wait. There. That activates that. Beautiful. Job done. Next area. Yellow thing number one activates wind. Fine, which could presumably push a block over there for some reason. Number two... That opens up the area I presumably need to push a block to for some reason. Or push myself. Okay. Now this... This, 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 this. But bear in mind again, things open and close with a bit of time on their hands. If I was just to... Okay. Let's just go for what the obvious solution seems like here. Which is put some blue here. Open up this gate, just get it all the way up to the top, make sure it's fully open, and then, ah, but, the fan needs to be kept on. How am I going to force the fan on when the fan's not really in the right position to, hmm, interesting. Because if I actually step on the fan right now, how long's the fan, no, I don't have time to keep the fan on. So this one absolutely needs to be weighed down with something. Let's just, for the sake of argument, let's just put the fan on here. Activate a green block and see if that gets... that does not get pushed. Okay. What if I was to make this blue and this green? That goes over... Aha! That has indeed done exactly what I wanted it to. So now there's a green block there. 
So now with the fan permanently on, I might not need anything else. I might just... This is fully open. I might have time to basically just throw myself through here. So here we go. And... Yep. That's the solution I had time to get myself through. Marvellous. And we've got ourselves to a thing. Okay. Emma, that cable is connected to a terminal. It seems to have sent some form of energy back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. Maybe you're onto something here, Millie. Report on any changes. <laughs> okay. So I have opened all the other doors or just that one's open? Yeah. They're all open. Okay, well, let's skip straight to the one up top, because I sort of just bloody feel like it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Multiple different things. Let's just check what these do. This moves that to there. What difference does that make? What is that? Ah, conveyor belts are now things. Fine, so potentially green blocks could be moved. Especially as, yeah, there's something up there. Fine. This one, wait, what does this one do? Wait, what does this one do? This one does something up here. That makes that move to... Aha! Okay. So, in theory, if I was to... If I was to... I could make a... But why would that help? Because I can see how I could, like, you know, bring a green block there, bounce off a blue that's moved over to here, move it onto the conveyor belt, and then make the conveyor belt move over to here... But I don't see how that helps me in any... Oh. No, I do see how that helps me. Because how that helps me is I don't want to do that. I want to move a green block over in that direction to let me get up to that switch there. So then the only question is, how do I weigh this block down? Hmm. Yeah, how am I going to weigh this block down so this is in the right position at the right time? Because right now, yeah, I need it to be... I need this to be at the far right in order that when I drop this block... Except, hang on, this is... Yeah, this needs to come over here. Fine. Unless I... No! Okay. What if I didn't do that? What instead, if I just drop this here using uh, a red to just hold it in position... Let's just drop a green down there. Fine, that green can just stay there for the time being. That doesn't help me, though. That doesn't help me at all. I mean, I can make that into a blue that will immediately be flung across. And then... Okay, if I was to put that over here... Okay, hang on. Change that to that. That gets pushed over here. But then that's presumably going to hit the wire, right? Yeah, that just hits the wire. That doesn't help me very much. Ah, wait. As a starting point, a basic green here can... Aha! Okay, the green moves that to there, and now a second new green can be pushed over there. I jump off here, that gets moved over, ah ha 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 ha, there we go. This lets me up to here, this lets me activate the blue, that lets me activate... What did that just do? I don't know what that just did. Um, something happened, possibly that was just like the blue stuff I need for the reactor in the main room. Uh, this looks fairly simple, just like a blue. And will this get me over to there? Only if I put a new green onto this switch. Because now I need a red to catch myself. Um, oh, and there's only one spot here, so that's fine. So presumably, I'm now going to land on the red. Okay, fine. Uh, the problem is now there's... Ah! I get rid of the green by simply spawning a new green. And that also gives me a staircase that I suspect I'm about to need regardless... And job done. Lovely. So there's only basically a single room behind each of these doors. Gotcha. So, cube has been activated, which is appropriate because the game is called cube. And there we are. There's the first thing in. We are feeding the possibly but not entirely certain reactor. Uh, wait, how do I get over to... How do I get over to that one? Is there a... Hang on, there better be a thing I can use to get up there. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to get up to here. Hopefully, there's a... Yep, there's a bounce pad. Okay, let's do all of these in the wrong order, because I feel like it. Next up. Okay. 
Right, two things. Check what they do. Okay, so there's a fan. And this activates... That activates a wall. Okay. What's the benefit of the wall? Ah, the wall stops things being flung past. So. So, 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 so. No way to weigh this one down permanently just yet. And what strikes me as a good idea here is... If I was to just have a, a green block right there... If I could basically now just very quickly jump over here, turn that on... It's too low. Alright. So, what if instead I was to put a... Can I get a green block on top of a red from below? I don't think so. No. Ah, but... Never worry about that, because I could put a green right here. So, put that here. Uh, there we go. Now, jump over here, quick as you can. That goes over here. That gets thrown up. Hits the wall. Comes down. And is that is that good enough? Okay, that's now good enough. So, the fan is now permanently on. I'm not convinced that helps me that much, but then I suppose, actually, what I could do would be... How does that help? How does that flipping help? I mean... No, now that's in position. What I now need to do is I need to turn on a green here... Yeah, I need to turn on a green so that the fan... Wait. No. Okay, what I need to do... What I need to do... <laughs> this needs to be down at the bottom. And the reason this needs to be down at the bottom is because I need to redo that green block. What I need to do is... I need to step off here and then fire a new green over there once I get close enough. That turns off the fan. Then what happens is the new block hits this while it's going up and still falls down to turn the fan on. The fan then activates, and I get pushed over there. I'll need to hit the blue myself to be thrown over the top. So what I need to do is... Yeah, I'm just going to give it a go. So that's... That... No. Because without the fan on, that doesn't work. Okay. What if I come over here, bring that down, and then just reactivate what we had a second ago? So bring that over here. There we go. And that did not work at all, thank you. Oh, there's a way easier solution. It's just using the cocking red. If I just put the red up here, then I can just basically walk over here. All right, then I can just put the blue down here, and then I just deactivate the red. And that is obviously much easier, yes. Yeah. Right, we've got to the stage where my brain can't keep up anymore. Marvellous. Now, uh, what does this button here do? Because this is a nice easy one to turn on with the green. That makes this thing go along here. Ah. I think what I need to do there is probably escort either myself or a cube. But I need to activate the reds in the right order to do it. Okay. That's absolutely fine. So I don't just want to activate a green right now. Instead, what I want to do is a blue here will get me probably up top, right? Yeah, that gets me up top here. What I need to do is, first up, a red needs to be ready to go over here. The moment I'm past that, I need to move it over to here. So, okay. Get ready for that. Right, now go. Now, as soon as we're past this, and go, and down... And that protects me from the wind on this side. There we go. And job done. Nice. That one, that one I got my head round. And we're into the mysterious room of things. Let's interact with that. Boom. And the cube is slightly more cubey, I think. Right, one final room. And possibly an easier one, because this was the one down on the ground floor. So possibly the one they intended to do first. Right, activate this. That moves all of this along there. Fine, that makes sense. In fact, this looks pretty simple. Just make that a blue, and then make that one a green. That's going to go to... Ah! No, that's hitting the force field. Okay. Step off here. 
How do I make that not hit the force field? Well, let's just see what this does. If I just put that there, that doesn't do... Aha! Now move it across, and now that comes to... Hmm. That doesn't feel like that helped a huge... No! No, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Move back over here. That needs to be a red. That's a blocker, not a source of anything, okay? So, put that up. Uh, spawn that. Now, I bring myself way over here and get rid of the red when I want the blocking to be removed, which is at the extreme. And now, activate. Boom. And takes that out. Nice. Okay. So, that opens up that over there. And then, possibly, what I want to do then is, uh, actually throw myself up there next. So, instead, let's bring myself a... Yeah, hang on. Uh, change this round for just a second. If I now drop this here, does this now go on that? Yep, that now goes on that. I can now come over here. Not quite, because I wasn't fast enough. Um, okay, so I actually need to, I need to undo that for a second. I need to be faster when it's time. So, okay. So as soon as that's... In fact, actually, I can be a lot closer than this. So prepare, just get that over there. And now, just basically... Yeah, actually, I don't need to actually move because I'm on a conveyor belt. So now I'm fine. So now what I do is that just becomes blue. This just gets got rid of. And that should push me over here. Lovely. Right. Is that your job for this one? Because this was supposed to be like the first room. Keep just barreling upwards. Yes, it was. Good. So that is the third and final. That should be the generator fixed. Marvellous. What is that? I think whatever you're doing in there is having an effect on the greater structure. Let's hope it's a good thing. This reactor seems to be fully powered and is sending something back to that machine. I'm going to check it out. All right. Reactor fixed. Let's see what the mysterious machine that possibly did a thing I didn't actually see is now doing. All right. Back to the room. Emma? From what I can tell, this machine is powered by a third, and another door connected to it has opened. How fascinating. Okay, Millie, I trust your judgment. Let's see if it actually works as you think when all thirds are powered. I'm on it. Alright, so, in fact, it looks like we need to do a little bit more just yet. Now these doors have opened as well. Now, where exactly is this going to take me? Is this going to be another little hub? Chapter 6, Fragile Dreams, apparently. Another reactor. Let's get this thing powered. So there we are. Same deal on the other side now. We have got ourselves yet more rooms to actually crack into. So presumably, each of these rooms... No, same as last time. You've got your starting room to actually open up the doors, and then after that point, you've got three rooms you can go into in any order in order to actually get power flowing. And for the first time, walls are starting to be coloured. There's all of a sudden a lot more colour than we've seen before. Okay. And also there's a... Okay. Little rotating platform. Nothing major. Get myself on top. Now, in theory, if I was to be right here, I'd flip myself, right? Yep. That just flips me over to there. Okay. Fairly simple new mechanic. Worth keeping in mind. And, oh, yeah. All of a sudden, these things are... Ooh. Okay. So, now... Now things are getting a lot more interactive. The entire structure of the room could be changed. So the options are, that's either up or down, and this thing has two potential orientations as well. Gotcha. So probably a good starting point here would be, if I just make this blue, can I get myself up top? No. What if that was round here? Then I might be able to. I think that looks closer. Yeah, that looks closer now. So now, that would make that... Hmm... Slight problem. Now I can't see the thing down there, but if I'm standing right at the edge here, now I can just fling myself over to here with a nice mat, which I just totally missed, but there you go. Fine. 
So now probably get that back down and spin that. I said get that back down, thank you. Get that back down. Now I've got the blue here. Now I'm going to assume I'm going to land on this thing. If I jump onto here. That should be about right. Yep, fine. And then right to the edge. Make sure I get maximum momentum. And... Boom. Job done. Nice. Okay. Room's getting... Oh, and now all the mechanics are coming together. Right, okay. So that just... What does that do? That's either up or down. Fine. They only have two positions they can cycle through. We've also got the switches. That makes that go... Up or down. Okay, fine. And we've also got this. That makes this go up or down. Now, how exactly does that... I see these over here. Fine. Well, let's just see if this is now flat. What this does if I just drop a block onto uh, that. Yeah. Blue. Okay. That weighs that down, but that doesn't actually help me. So possibly I actually want that to be up. Because I'd rather the green block hit that, fell down, and then fell on this. And then we've got... But not if I'm going to miss it. No. Now I know that works, that's fine. So just green block onto here. That falls onto there. Helps me up. As I go up now, I want to rotate that. One, to use as a bridge. And two, because now if I just fire another block, that should go down. But this should now go up. And indeed, it all has done so. Except... This doesn't actually... Ooh. Ah, wait. Now I bring that back up for the final stage as a bridge. <laughs> ah, okay. That's a fun little last step there. That one caught me off guard a little bit. Emma, can I ask you a question? What would you like to know? So many things are running through my mind. I mean, you were sent to destroy that extraterrestrial object, right? I was. As were many. So... How did we develop this manipulation technology? We tracked the vessel for years since it entered the solar system, intercepting signals from it, decoding them. We learned about its structure, but not its host. And you used this data to what? Develop this technology I'm wearing? It was going to kill everyone on Earth, Millie. It was an invasion. Sorry. I just... I just need to orient myself. That's all. You've got to admit, this situation is somewhat out of the ordinary. I know. This journey, it's not what I expected either, Millie. So I feel like I've... Ah, wait. Hang on. One last step here. Now I need to get myself on top of all of this. And if I'm just about here, this should be about right. And now I move this wall. I'm staying on top of this. Just... Oh, rotating floor puzzles. Right, okay. So, the hole that produces the wind that can basically help you fly can be in one of two locations. Where do I need to go? I need to basically just get anywhere up here. Okay. We've got... Oh. Well, there's one obvious solution. But it's potentially a bit on the mental side. So if I basically just say, I'm just trying to stay inside this thing. Okay, now I just need to basically stay inside this thing as well as I can. Yep, that actually worked. That actually flipping worked. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got that one pretty quickly if I do say so myself. Uh, and now I just need to get up here. So it's already in the right position. Because from here, ah, blast my way up. Fall even further down. Absolute preservation of energy or something. And through we go. Now this one's a bit interesting. We got ourselves... Ah! Right. Okay. Each individual bit can now... Oh, blimey. Okay, what if I activate all of them simultaneously? Okay, that's going to provide me with a, a step. So that's the right first step. Now if I just spin myself around here... Now I'm up to here. Fine, that gets me somewhere good. But not good enough, because this isn't where the exit door is. This is just a starting point. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. What if... Oh! That wasn't what I was really planning to happen there. Okay, um... Hmm. Right, okay. No, 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 this is this is fine. Aside from the fact that I've now bent it round, so now I can't now I can't see it anymore. Uh, which is that's no, I've actually completely fluffed it. Gotcha. Oh no, I think I can just see it. There we go. I can just see it. Fine. And that goes up or down as well. Now, if I actually say okay. No, if I actually do this, okay, if I'm here. No, here, and then no. Uh, no, okay, I was hoping I could get around the top here. Actually, I can if I jump off. Right, okay. Hit that, and then, no, I need to be right at the edge. I need to jump off as it happens. Uh, so, be prepared to jump. And, no, the game kind of freezes you in place once you push a button. So, I'm going to need to literally jump off, and as a leap of faith as I go, go! And, ooh! I think I almost had that there. Okay, jump and oh oh yes I got it I got it that time when I say I got it that that doesn't actually help me okay no that was completely not what I needed to do I just needed to make it totally flat and then fling myself up there okay I'm making this much harder than it needs to be this is this is all wrong this is all flipping wrong and I shouldn't have done that because this is quite hard to, to actually fix okay get it get it straight get it straight don't fall off yeah, that was completely 100% not... Wait, hang on, doesn't that... Does that make that one go... What well, That one makes that one go... Oh, no, that does make that one go up. Sorry, I thought that one went down, but no, that one does go up. Fine. So just go right to the end, and then hit the up button. That should just fling me up to there, probably. And fling! Good. I'm gonna say good. Um. Okay. Now, I could get to there, but I already know how to get to there. That doesn't help me. I get to aha right round to here this gets me to here but now if I turn that the other way and ah, no, 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 no. that to there this to here and that's gonna form a narrow br done beautiful <laughs> yeah my brain's starting to give up at this point it's just saying no no I don't get it you've completely lost me uh, right straighten that and then straighten this and we got ourselves a bridge. Whew. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the statues. I don't like the statues. The statues are genuinely kind of creepy. But all right, fine. Let's interact with them. No, I don't think it's humane to knock her away. She needs medical attention. And she needs to be looked after. If you don't know what you're dealing with, James, so just do me a favor and drop the management bullshit. We already confirmed that some of the things in the maze were... Seemingly built out of my own memories of my husband, etc. Is it possible that, yeah, somehow this is all going on in my head? Or some form of horrible psychic experiments? Could well be. And there's the first button. Activate that. Okay, let's power these other rooms. And indeed, now the three other doors do indeed open up. And we have got to solve those three rooms to get that finished off. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. I don't want to spoil the entire game. When it's a puzzle game, figuring out the puzzles for yourself is kind of the point. This is Cube 2, and I have a quiet bit of respect for Cube. I think it's a very reliable workhorse of the puzzle genre. It's probably not going to change anyone's life, but both games in the franchise have been really, really solid. Well put together, good puzzle games, accessible, easy to pick up, but very quickly get into head-scratching territory. Yeah, I actually do admire this franchise quite a lot. So, link in the description below. I believe this came out just today. In fact, this is brand new out. And indeed, I'll actually put a link to uh, the original as well, Cube Director's Cut, because that was a solid game as well. So, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure we'll have more puzzle games in future, because I do enjoy the occasional puzzle game, even if I'm not always absolutely the best at them. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Cube 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. But screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>